Back so soon? Solve any crimes? Maybe later. I'm gonna shower and get ready for work. Sounds great. Hey, when you have a minute, do you think you could get me a fresh cup of coffee? I don't want to smudge my nails. Thank you. So, have you given any more thought what you might do? About what? Well, I mean, I only have one bedroom and one bathroom. I mean, this can't be comfortable for you, especially after living in a mansion. Oh, I don't know. It's cute here. Though I could see myself moving some furniture around, giving it the illusion of having more space. Or maybe there's someone else you would consider staying with. Oh. You're kicking me out. No, I, I didn't say that. Well, you strongly hinted, and just in case you forgot, which clearly you have, you invited me. I remember. Mm -hmm. I didn't foist myself on you, so sorry for the inconvenience. I'll go. I'm not asking you to leave. I don't stay anywhere where I'm not wanted. Okay, that's how I ended up here in the first place. Brooklyn, listen to me, okay? I am not kicking you out. It's just, this was supposed to be a temporary arrangement. I mean, we barely know each other. Hmm. Aside from the three groundless arrests. Wouldn't you be happy staying with someone, a close friend or a family member? <laughs> I would rather live under a rock than crawl back and live with my family. Go ahead, call me dramatic. Aren't you? So, this is a dramatic situation, a tale of abandonment, loss, and betrayal. But weren't you the one who abandoned your family? My father threw me out onto the street. So technically, it's a tale of rejection, oh not abandonment. Oh, God, what is your point? I, I'm just saying, I saw your dad's face when he was sitting outside your hospital room, concerned when you were attacked. I saw the look in Monica's face and Michael's. Look, I know that nobody's family's perfect, but it is clear that your family loves you and they want to help. I know my family loves me, okay? Me staying here is not about what they did to me. It's, it's about what I did to them. Believe it or not, I get why my dad threw me out. I mean, from his perspective, I'm the one who betrayed the family when I sold my stock. Never mind the other Qs who sold their shares. My dad says, I'm the one who should have known better. I'm the one who should have said something. So all of this is on me. No, but none of that mattered when you were fighting for your life and your father was worried that you might die. <laughs> Do you really think my dad would have let bygones be bygones if I didn't almost die? There you go. But now you have the power. I mean, your family's begging for you to come home. My dad traded anger for pity. He's not really sorry. He just feels sorry for me. And that's one thing I can't bear to live with. 